Hi, my name is Ramal Scully, and this is the Great British Chef's Signature Series. When I was growing up, I was surfing a lot in Australia, and I wouldn't want to be a marine biologist. After halfway in university, mum pulled me aside and said, look, sister's already in uni, she, cook, she couldn't really put both of us in university, so I always loved cooking, and I always wanted to see the world, travel, so I always thought that's the best way to do it, start cooking. And then I just stick with it. I've been blessed to the way that I've eaten all the nicest things in the world and I've seen so many things that there's more to come. Hello guys, my name is Ramal Scully. Uh, we're actually in my restaurant, um, Scully, at um, St. James Market. And we're actually cooking a Malay, Malay dish called Sayur Lemak. It's basically vegetables cooked in coconut milk. Uh, with a bit of uh, my homemade samba blachan and a little little twist today is a bit of salt to cut to, just to finish off the dish. Get a nice pot, bring it up to medium high heat, a little bit of vegetable oil. Alright, so the pot is nice and hot, a little bit of shallots, slice, and a little bit of grated garlic, and a little bit of grated ginger. Don't colour it too much guys, get it sweat, uh, get that aromas out. Like I said again, like, I do like using fresh turmeric. You can get it in most Indian shops, but um, turmeric powder is totally fine. But always remember, you, if you add dry spices, make sure that pan is not too dry, because you don't want to burn the dry spices. So my trick is always dry spices, give it a little um, saute, get the aromats, and then a touch of water, so it dilutes and makes it into a spice base. It's actually my mum's trick, so. <laughs> so a little bit of turmeric. So it's not, um, it's not too dry, it's a little bit shiny. You don't want too much oil too, because um, today we're going to use coconut milk in the sauce. And coconut milk is usually high in fat. So a little bit of lemongrass, chopped up lemongrass. And I like a bit of fresh coffee lime leaves. You can actually get it frozen in your Asian shops. And the only thing I noticed it too, that these days you can buy jars of grated ginger, garlic, lemongrass. Nothing wrong, guys. Use it. If you want to buy it, go for it. It lasts longer in your fridge. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to get all that shallots, garlic, ginger, just to combine, you know. So we we'll bring up to the heat, and then the next stage will be the coconut. So this is a, some coconut cream. Going to bring up to the heat again, and then I'm going to add the vegetables. So a little bit of snake beans, and you can actually use um, French beans, green beans. Just love the snake beans because it's like a, it soaks up the liquid, so it's like a sponge when you're eating it, and okra. I think the trick with okra is, is not to overcook it too much or it doesn't get too slimy. And it's so cheap too, guys. You know, like one of the best things about vegetables, the okra and the snake beans are cooking. I'm going to add the harder sole of the dish. It's the sambal blacha. In my, in my house, I've always had some and always at work, there's always a batch of sambal blacha in the freezer. It's made from fresh chilies, dry chilies, a little bit of tamarind, lime juice, sugar and salt. And the main ingredient is the, the blacha, the shrimp paste. And the trick is, is to cut it and put it in the foil, wrap it in foil and put it in a, like a 160, 180 degree oven. And it takes about 10 to 20 minutes and you can smell, just to release the flavors out. And then once you have that, then you can use it in your blachan, even straight in the dishes too, if you like, okay? And with the sambal blachan, when you're adding, you like it a little more hot, add more. So I'm gonna add two tablespoons because I want the coconut to come through first. I'm gonna add the, uh, the salted cod. Just always remember salted cod, you can get it in mostly any international shops, uh, Caribbean shops, Asian shops. You can even make your own salt of cod. My trick is, is if you get a, a, the salt of cod, it's really thin, one day soak, it's really, really thick. I go for two, three days and try to flush the water every 24 hours. And this is optional too, guys. Like instead of salt of cod, if you're more vegetarian, you can add um, eggplant, tofu. It's really good for this dish too. Soaks up all that beautiful flavors. So no rules, guys. It's totally up to you. So I'm going to add a little touch more coconut milk. So I want it a bit more creamier. So now we're going to go for the pinch of salt and a couple of pinches of sugar. And the reason why I do the whole salt and sugar just gives that little bit of balance between the heat. It really helps. I noticed that this kind of dishes, you cook it, the next day it tastes even better and it still holds with flavor and everything else, like a good stew or a good lasagna. So I'm going to add a little bit of this carbonara. We're actually in winter right now, so I love my bitter greens, so chima de rapas, punterellas, um, all those kind of bitter greens work with this kind of like beautiful hot spicy kind of curries. Okay, and I'm gonna finish over with some fresh spinach. So now we're gonna go for a little taste. So I'm looking more for the coconut flavor, the creaminess. Number two is the spice levels from the, the, the sambal blachan. 
And number three, it's basically the, the seasoning, the sourness, you know? Always important, taste as you go. Taste, 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 you know, it's so important. It's looking good, guys, look at that. All this veggie heaven. And like I said, the, the salted cod is, is there just for texture, a little bit of um, option, kind of contrast to, to the dish. Got inspired from my mother the other day, so she made a nice sambal, and then she put some salted cod. So this is my Sayat Lumak dish. Vegetables cooked in coconut milk and with a little twist of mine, salted cod inside the dish. Hope you guys enjoy.